Thank you, Jim. Man, I hadn't talked to you in months. I haven't heard the VHF station over there in Kentucky in months. This is your old buddy Don over here in Evansville. Kilo Bravo Niner, Yankee Whiskey, Quebec. Roger, Roger, Don. I didn't know you were on HF. Oh, yeah. Um, all the time. And uh, I can't believe, because I, I know where you're at. Uh, I can't believe where it must be some short skip going on today. Oh, sometimes you just have to fool Mother Nature, you know. You just you just have to say, uh, I'm going to talk Mother Nature and you're not going to stop me. <laughs> yeah, I'm putting out about 1,100 watts right now. Roger, Roger. We're doing about a KW. Well, you sound good on HF, Jim. You really do. Good sounding station. Good and clear audio. Couldn't ask for better. Roger, Roger, Don, and likewise, uh, I wouldn't uh, change a thing on your audio setup. I'd uh, get that. Uh, I'd use Gorilla Tape. If I were you, I'd use Gorilla Tape and uh, Gorilla Tape all those uh, those knobs down right where they are, Roger. <laughs> well, how you guys been doing over there? Well, I tell you, I've been mainly up on HF. I uh, haven't had a lot. Uh, well, actually, Mother Nature kind of pulled the plug on my... Uh, uh, southeast uh, adventures. You know, I was uh, I was down to uh, uh, well, uh, you know, La Follette and uh, uh, down through there. You know, um, Mount Mitchell and uh, you know, like 400 miles on VHF. You know, I was doing doing pretty good until Mother Nature pulled the plug. Roger, how's Jr. and the rest of the bunch been doing? Oh, just as aggravating as ever. JR's uh, kind of been become the channel boss for a couple of the uh, repeaters, you know. He, he does the uh, nets, Roger. Well, that's a good deal. I haven't had a chance to talk to him in a long, long time either. I just hadn't had any conditions for talking to the east of me. I get conditions talking to the west of me all the time. Uh, you know, with the Alto Pass machine and everything that direction. But I just don't hear anything to the east when it comes to VHF anymore. Roger, Roger. Uh, same thing here. East is uh, not uh, not good. I, I don't know exactly why that is, but uh, I used to think that I had uh, almost a direct line down to uh, London, Kentucky, which is about 150 miles. I, I would work them uh, two or three times a day, you know, and uh, sometimes they, they'd be doing me peg outs, and uh, Richard uh, uh, had some problems with his uh, transmit antenna, and so he had moved that transmit antenna down to a fence next to the tower, so the, the altitude on that transmit uh, antenna was about uh, maybe six feet, and I, he was giving me a peg out, <laughs> and so I, I couldn't figure it, but I, I could copy, you know, working real well with that, uh, his transmit antenna being only about six foot high. Well, the only thing I'm using uh, is, uh, well, I got my Ringo Ranger up in the air still for talking VHF, but um, HF-wise, all I've got is a, a sloper in the, uh, in the backyard, and um, it's the high end of it's probably about 35 foot in the air, and it goes down to about 40 foot. Oh, Roger, that well, sounds just excellent, Don. Uh, just, just excellent. And uh, we we are running a QSO uh, VLOG recording. Uh, and uh, your signal is just uh, beautiful audio if you want to hear it. Uh, uh, we'll be posting this QSO in the next couple of days. If you might go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, that will bring up the QSO Vlog page. And this uh, QSO uh, uh, series should be uh, towards the upper half of the page, but if not there, on the page somewhere. It's hard to tell where YouTube puts things sometimes, but uh, it'll be labeled uh, or titled uh, today's date and the time and the frequency. Not this time, but when we started probably about a, an hour and a half ago, Roger. I understand completely. Well, I got to go check on my little one. He's being quiet. You know how that is. They're getting into something. Jim, for the conversation, most of it, you were hitting me 50 dB over S9. Uh, good, good strong signal today. 
and uh, welcome to the weekend, my friend. And I'll have to be looking for you on HF. You hang out on this one a lot? Uh, yes, uh, usually on uh, Fridays we do our QSO Vlog recording uh, on uh, Friday morning, usually. All right, my friend, I'll definitely look for you. Thank you for coming back to me, because uh, I could I recognize the voice, and I would have bet money that was you. Uh, and because uh, you're just as clean audio as you are on VHF, you got it going good. God bless in seventy threes, Jim. It's good to catch up with you. KB nine YWQ. Roger, Roger, Don. Well, the uh, microphone and the uh, audio system is the same that I use on uh, uh, VHF and UHF. I've got a six-position rotary switch, and I just uh, switch over to VHF from uh, HF or whichever way. So uh, three's done. Oh, sounding great, man. Uh, we'll catch you later. You have a real good day. And this is uh, KC9 VKV.